The most surprising thing about the Braves' 2018 NL East title was the way they won it. Atlanta never spent a day below 500 and steadily pulled away from the pack, using two six-game winning streaks in September to put the division on ice. Exciting young stars like Ozzie Albies and Ronald Acuna Jr. burst onto the national scene and have Braves fans fired up. All right, guys, so yeah, welcome to March to October, yeah, and we'll be the show 19. And we're going to play the Atlanta Braves. We're going to get things started opening day. So I don't know how the March to October goes. I, from what I understand, uh, highlights and moments of the season's top game. So we're going to see what happens here today. I'm going to be the show. You guys want to see more of these? I'll always drop a like. Coming to you from Citizens Bank Park is the Atlanta Braves will start their 2019 campaign on the road against the division rival Philadelphia Phillies. With okay, so first pitch moments today. away, let's send things down to Heidi Watney with more on the Braves' outlook this season. Matt, I was able to pay a visit to the clubhouse oh, before great. the game, and amongst the players that I talked to, there was a lot of enthusiasm. All right, so we'll go ahead and skip. As in most March, October, the cities will begin in the mid to late innings. You are now control to the top of the sixth inning. Good luck in your march to October. All right, so here we go. Well, welcome to those of you just joining us. We're in the sixth inning. Nobody out. Stepping in for the Braves, go, Nick Markakis. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that oh, hasn't that's been the case. And that's in there. Base hit. All right, let's see if that leadoff single gets them going right now. They've taken it on the chin for most of this game, being a little passive at the plate in their approach. Let's see if that starts them off and they start to go more ambush tactics. First offering on its way. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Ranging back is Herrera to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Mm, nice catch. Well, that was certainly a tough play and worth taking another look with show track. Seemed to get a pretty good read off the bat, carved out a nice route. Oh, that was a nice play, actually. And ended up covering over 110 feet to make the play. I'm sure he's happy with himself about that one. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Full for one for him here in this one. A good uh, Oakland Aries player. Good pitch there oh, down oh, below the zone. Got him to go after out. it. Good job of making him chase that up. pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking for the double play ball. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. To two oh, balls and two strikes now. All even at two and two. Here it is. Mm. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. They're working on timing down. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. First pitch on its way. Oh, missed that oh, one by a ball. mile. It's 0 and 1. Okay, you see that swing patient. right there? You know what that tells me, boys? that this pitcher is doing his job right here, but also the offense is obviously not picking anything up today. One and one. And a curveball that he didn't get on top of there. It's one and one. Well, that's pretty much a no-brainer right there. If a guy misses that bad on a curveball, you've got to throw him another one. That was better recognition there. One ball. Ooh, ball and like two 20. strikes now. I know that oh, fastball boy, registered at about 92, 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that. For this offensive player after coming off a curveball the old push the throttle and pull it is being used here he comes again one two wave down wow. and missed for the third right. out. not much of a Terrible chance bat. of getting that one in the Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. His career line with Boltonavich. He brings a 353 batting line. He also has one home run. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. 
One and two now. The one two. Is a wave and a miss. Nice he struck him out. Up high. One out for the Phils in their half of the sixth. And that means Michael Franco, the third baseman, will bat next. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Snatched out of midair at first base for out number two. Now batting Aaron Nola. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And that's in there for a strike. Quite an interesting outing up to this point as we head into the middle innings. He's pitching quite well, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage, less than 40%. That's going to be something he's going to need to clean up moving forward. A one ball, two strike count to the Phillies pitcher. A bouncer to the left side. Looking to get something going here. And the next in is Johan Camargo. His past line against Aaron Nola. He's one for five. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he takes ball one. The Mets beat the Nationals. Oh, pop him out. Up. Real Muto moving to his left. And that's the first out of the inning. Standing in, Ozzy Albies. He got on top of one and was a ground down victim last time. Used to the, uh, that's it. Get used to the swinging these baseball games. I've not played a baseball game in about three years. The wind up and the 0 1. Right. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole. Oh, and two. Press the button. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher, able to pound his zone with all different options. Good job That's to it. spoil that one alive. away, and he stays alive. No so runs, three early. hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to one and two now. Dodgers lead over the Diamondbacks. And that's a swinging uh, strike in three in the and dirt. A strike three. He makes the throw to first. Two out. down. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way. And he just keeps right, rolling along long. as he starts another batter out with strike one. Mm. That could have always no up. runs, three Just hits, and no now. errors so far for Atlanta. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Late or what? But, uh, Gene Segura standing in, his career line with Bolton Avich. He has a three for 12 line. Line drive to left. Acuna is there and he yeah, makes the nice catch, catch for the out. out. I know they say sometimes that these things even out. But that was a bullet line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go ahead run. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. To me, getting ahead 0 1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Maddie. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1 0, mm. I am all over the gas or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on a swivel. 2-2 two and two the count. The 2-2 two -two is looked at, and the count moves full. Right, Walks are on never deck. good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back so to bite it. you. Count remains full. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And he struck oh, out again. The That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Oh, two are gone now in the Philadelphia seventh. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Ball one to start the at bat. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two.
And right into the shift. Freeman's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the and inning is in over. So he keeps go. rolling right along. Make it seven shutout innings now. Eighth inning. Here we go to the eighth inning. Bring in pinch hitter. We're going to, how about we bring in... Brian McCann. Brian McCann is going to be asked to get things. your go-ahead base runner right away as this is down for extra bases. It will be a double. Beautiful wow, this is a perfect there. example Opposite of a Wiley power. veteran doing what needs to be done to deliver for his team. Yeah, and just watch this swing. Instead of trying to do too much with it and pull it, he stays inside the ball and is able to Brian smack McKenna. it to the opposite field the for a double. Here's Ender Inciarte. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, he has right, time now. That he has to put the rest of those bats double. behind him because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Whoa, Off the plate and away there. One ball, 41, no strikes. 000, nearly 42,000 here in Philly. You watch the season opener between the Braves and the Phillies. Advantage count 2 0 to the Brave center fielder. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Three and oh now. Pitch coming up. Waiting on deck is Nick Markakis. Oh, Nick Markakis up next for the Braves. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Line drive to center field. Pereira is right there, one down. All right, Ken, we'll stay on base. Get the contact you That's need. one of those tough luck outs that will drive you crazy as a hitter. He this drove that fastball, but couldn't get it down, so he has to take hard contact as a consolation. Here comes the first pitch. Grounded oh, back up the middle. There's Segura oh. on the first, and Marquez oh, is retired to the third. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman, fourth trip to the plate and now, and he's headless to this point. Yeah, he and his teammates have here. really been shut down by some very good <laughs> pitching in this one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Um, I, That's I what you I call a challenge fastball right here. there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. Setting him oh, up okay. inside as he swings and misses for strike two. Obviously not where he wanted that curveball to end up, but I guess it fooled him enough to get the swing and miss. The 0-2. One ball. Not close two, with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Oh, Bounce towards the second baseman. To his right, Hernandez. In time, and the side will be a, So no runs here on the base hit, no there. errors, and one man left the board. Bottom of the eighth inning we go. Johnny Venters is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Stepping in, Reese Hoskins. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The pitch. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. The 2-1 home. Slapped hard the opposite way. And there's a base hit. So just like that, the leadoff man's aboard representing the potential go-ahead run. 
Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the game. That was a 96 mile an hour fastball that he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off speed. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball corner. can't catch the zone. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses. Three and one. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Popped him up. Power up the second. Albies over to his left. One down. So a runner at first now with one away. And digging in at the plate, the Texas native Nick Williams. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Venters is exactly what you want out of a bullpen nice arm. It's a there. rare occasion that anyone squares him up. He doesn't give up a lot of hits, and when he does, they're almost always kept in the yard. Matty V, there are two keys to being a good relief pitcher, and always remember these. One, limit the base oh, on man, balls. The two, corner. keep the ball in the ballpark. You can't defend a walk, and you can't defend a round tripper, and he does both. Pulled toward right center field. And that oh, finds a seam for extra bases as we'll see if they want to wheel that go-ahead run home from first. Yeah. And they're going to take a one-nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one makes you feel really good about yourself. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Bullet back up the middle. Inciarte is there, two gone. Stepping up now, Michael Franco. A strikeout and a lineout for him so far. And that misses for ball one. <sighs> and it's a called strike to even the count at one. Oh, he thanks his lucky stars right there getting away with that hanger. I cannot believe he didn't pull the trigger on that pitch. One and two now. From the stretch, the one two. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to right. end the inning. Phillies get a couple. Tonight. Braves looking to get back in the ball game here. The next to bat for Atlanta, Josh Donaldson. He'll begin things here against Aaron Nola. And we kick off the ninth oh, inning with a swinging strike here, nothing in one. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Donaldson is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. Behind 0-2 now. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. Stepping into the box, Ronald Acuna. He went down on strikes last time up. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And even though he's had some success against this guy in the ball game, he still knows he's a very dangerous opponent. He so. won't want to fall behind him any further. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. One ball and two strikes to count. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. And he struck him out. The tenth victim sat down right, on strikes thus far. So digging in now, Johan Camargo. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Hits this one hard the other way. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him one for four in the game now. What an unbelievable at bat right there in the ninth inning. Game on the line to get yourself on base to create an opportunity for your boy right here to be a hero. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. No balls in one strike. 
I don't know what that would have done if I didn't swing him back. Albies with a one and one count now. Swing and a miss, oh, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final shot. strike of the afternoon. All right, let's take a step back right here. He's down one, two, three fastballs in a row. There is no way. And he's stuck him out for round no number end. three. So that will wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run no stranded at first. Well, we emphasized no earlier in the telecast what a lift it can be to win on opening day, but what do you really think this means, Dero? No, well, for the, the winner, it's a huge loss. confidence boost, Dan, no doubt. But for the loser, hey, it's just one game. You shake it off, remind yourself you're at the beginning of a long season, and you come out ready to play next time.